Hello out there. Uh, this is Ken Wright, uh, speaking with you from our tasting room in beautiful downtown Carlton, Oregon. And I'm with the equally beautiful Joy Lachette. <laughs> and who's joining me today, uh, she is uh, our wine club director. Um, many of you out there have spoken with Joy Lynn on occasion. And she's going to, with me today, take you through a virtual tasting. Uh, we're starting today with our Duet Club, which is the, um, the two bottles twice a year that we provide, very special, special offerings. In fact, uh, this time uh, we're offering our two wines that are unavailable uh, to the rest of the public, actually even to ourselves. We can't even get it. Um, it's the 2014 Freedom Hill and 2015 Freedom Hill. Um, a great thing. Uh, we are coming to you, of course, this way um, because of the uh, COVID epidemic. Um, and, you know, sad that we can't be together to press flesh and to, to be able to be face to face. Uh, this will just have to do in the meantime. Uh, but we appreciate you tuning in. The, uh, so, Joy Lynn, do you want to start with sure. tasting? Yeah. So, um, hello everyone. I'm Joy Lynn. And we are going to taste through these wines today of the two Pinot <laughs> This is the grand unboxing. <laughs> so number one okay. is going to be the 2014 Freedom Hill Vineyard. And then number two will be the 2015 Freedom Hill Vineyard. Can I help? Sure. Here, I'll grab this. So as uh, not everybody knows that the closures that we are using and have since 2000, well, 20 years now, two decades, of using the Nomacork, which is a closure made uh, purely out of sugar cane. Uh, so it's completely, completely uh, zero carbon footprint, completely natural, degradable, it's the way to go. And uh, the company that makes them, which started in Germany, has really come a long way uh, over the years. The closure now, that we're using is a 25 year closure. And so these are wines that are absolutely meant to lay down for as long as you wish. You wanna start with the 15? Um, sure. Good. You want four? Sure. So Ken, would you taste the 15 first versus the 2014? I would. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm. So this is a you know beautiful, beautiful red, uh, vibrant color, uh, you know garnet, if you will. Uh, still the the robe or the edges of the wine, um, really still pretty you know quite vibrant. Uh, still the deep pigment, not brick at all yet, um, which shows that health uh, of a young wine. And uh, even that that first aromatic for me. <coughs> I don't know what you're getting, but for me, I got I got that um, typical cinnamon quality that I think is really um, a, a trademark of Freedom Hill over all these years. We've been working with this vineyard since 1987. Wow. Yeah. 87. It was one of the uh, we began in Oregon in '86, and so in '87 we started with two vineyards. Uh, that we discovered that year that are foundational vineyards for us, Freedom Hill and Canary Hill. And uh, they, we are still working with them. You know, over the, over the years, we ended up leasing Canary Hill and farming it beginning in 96, and finally bought it from the Daniels um, in, uh, in 2005. So we've had that vineyard that's been part of our stable of vineyards for so many years. Freedom Hill as well. The Freedom Hill is still owned by the Deshaies. And uh, Helen and Dan, you know, of course, created Freedom Hill mm -hmm. uh, back in the very early 80s. Again, we began with them in 87, been with them every year. We are, without question, the longest term customer that they have. Wow. No one's been with them as long as we have. Um, and with that kind of longevity, that kind of experience that you get with that kind of longevity of a relationship, you learn a lot. 
-hmm. And over the years, you really understand the vineyard in great detail. Uh, and it allows us to, to perfect what we do in terms of how we farm and how we protect and make the wine. And so it's, uh, again, it's been with us for, for many years. Now, their, their son, Dustin, mm -hmm. has uh, taken over the helm uh, of the farming, and he's mm -hmm. doing a great job. Mm -hmm. it's, it's beautifully farmed. Uh, it's, it's a really great, unique site. Down in, the, down in the coast range, it's the furthest south of all of our sites. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it's in the coast range, so it's close to the ocean, not too far south of the Van Duzer Corridor, so it's a coolish area. The fruit tends to be, because of that, it tends to be a little later uh, to ripen mm -hmm. because it gets some of that cold air, mm -hmm. that ocean air. It does later. typically come into harvest later than right. most of the other vineyards. Yeah, yeah. and Joy Lynn, just so you know, what do you... And Dan and Helen are really great people. Helen mm -hmm. comes out and she is part of our wine club, so she's, she's a great, they're both great people. Yeah, and what we really love, really, really love, are her cookies. Oh, yes. Every she does day. make very good cookies. <laughs> Every harvest, we get we get a massive tray of fantastic chocolate chip cookies that are crazy delicious, and they are. I mean, I can't even get to the winery with my with my load of chocolate chip cookies without being completely overwhelmed by everybody there uh, mm -hmm. taking cookie after cookie after cookie. They're gone. They're gone that day. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. Well, should we try the next one? Yeah. It's pretty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So here is the 2014 vintage. Fourteen and fifteen were very different years uh, to discuss vintages. Um, both ripe, beautifully ripe. 15, though, was a huge crop um, for by Oregon standards and a very warm year. Uh, it was a year where you wanted a large crop. You needed all that work. Mm -hmm. You wanted all that fruit out there to slow the vine down. Mm -hmm. You needed the, the vine to perform a lot of work so that it happened slower and over more time, giving us more hang time. Right. Okay, and that, that hang time is crucial to the development of complex aroma and flavor. Mm -hmm. And so we did, we had that. So 15, even though it was super warm, mm -hmm. and it would have been a very, very short growing season if we'd had a small crop. Right. Thankfully, we had a large crop, slowed everything down, mm -hmm. everything came in to the winery in beautiful balance. Mm -hmm. Had good acidity still. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't have with a small crop. Would have been a tough year had we had a small crop. Right. 14 was a year that was more self-regulated. It was a smaller crop. But beautiful still, it was a great year. Um, we had very, um, it was a mild year. We, I don't know if you recall, but mm -hmm. not too many extremes. Right. And then when yeah. we didn't have rain at the wrong time, we didn't have excessive heat, mm -hmm. we didn't, everything kind of happened at the right time, and, and uh, it was a very um, easy growing season mm -hmm. you know, compared to many. And, uh, and the wines show, I think, really beautiful balance right. you know, because of it. Again, you get a little bit of the, I get a little bit, very small amount of that cinnamon, a little more cola, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. And anise licorice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think that, that you, you find also that in, in the marine sediment sites, that the wines do have plenty of fruit, but you mm -hmm. get a little more of those spice elements. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Absolutely. And uh, I would agree with you that mm -hmm. uh, the anise is, is definitely, mm -hmm. definitely part of that. Yeah, I feel like it's more in the 2014 vintage yeah. than it was in the 2015. Yeah, I do, I agree, mm -hmm. big time. Boom, really complex, just, just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope that you are able to enjoy these wines as well, and you are drinking with us. And um, if you want to stop by our tasting room, we're doing curbside pickup or um, there's free deliveries in the local area, um, in the Portland area. So one of our sales team or even Ken will drop by and drop your wine off on your porch. Indeed. 
and we're happy to do that. Um, we'll just simply pull up to your to your home and, and from the you know deliver to your doorstep. Go a few steps away and, and salute you as we take off. Um, but but please do take advantage of that. We're we're happy uh, to provide one to you in, with this service. And thank you guys for yeah. uh, being club members. Mm -hmm. it, it's uh, much appreciated. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>